Do you want to make thumbnails that look professional for your YouTube channel? Something like this? Well, basically in today's video, I'm going to show you how to create the best looking thumbnail. So yeah, without more further ado, let's get straight into today's video. Hope you do enjoy. Well then guys and girls, how's it going? It is me, Jace123, and I'm here with another video for you on that. Basically, in today's video, I'm going to be showing you how to create your own thumbnails using Photoshop CS6. Now, you're probably wondering, why the heck do I use Photoshop? And the reason uh, because of that is, just look at that. It's very, very outputting, standard sort of stuff. But it brings more things out to your audience, gives them more of an idea. So, um, in today's video, I think we are just going to create some really stupid looking thumbnails. But first, I'm going to show you how I got to this point. So, for example, if I got rid of that, if we go to File and go to New, now, the preset that I always choose is either 1280, 720, and the resolution of 72, or I actually go with 1280 by 720 and a resolution of 300. Now, because I am using um, basically the resolution of 300 this time, meaning that I can get very, very close to uh, cropping certain things out. So yeah, what we're actually going to do is we're going to click OK on that. And as you can see, we are straight on a new template. Now, before you do anything, and it's this is the fact that you always must uh, unlock this layer because here's what you can do if with the layer not locked or with the layer not locked you can actually like change your uh, looks of things like you can change your colors your backgrounds anything that suits your type of uh, thing but in today's video we're not gonna be going for anywhere else like that so yeah the next stage is to try and get a funny image so yeah I will be back with you shortly as soon as I have the image. Okay everyone, so I have basically chosen two images just to work from at this moment in time. The first image is basically an MLG thing and I really like the colour of this because you can actually like see more in further detail. And this one, don't ask with what I actually did, but if I can, if I can grab it, uh, that would help. So yeah, let's just drag that up. And we have this monster, whatever the hell I've done with him. But, um, yeah, let me show you now the main tool, what people mainly use. So if I go to the freeform pen tool, then this is what people usually do. And obviously that looks terrible so this is where you need to use this tool which is called the pen tool now if you're wondering what the pen tool actually does it works like an actual artist's pen so what you'd actually have to do is every time you do a particular um, part of the image then you will have to basically go as close as you can towards the um, towards every aspect of your chosen person. Now, if you wanted to know how to get rid of something, for example, you messed up a point, which, uh, basically, as I was saying before I got disrupted, um, as soon as you go, like, around each and every single point, then, uh, this is probably going to take me a while, so, uh, I will be back once I have finished the whole thing. Okay, so I've almost basically finished the uh, the image. Now, this is where the key point is. That as soon as you have drawn around your particular subject, which I have uh, chosen as this person here, for some particular reason, don't ask me why. My channel is dead at the moment in time. But as you can see, there is a tiny gap here. Now, if I hover over here, this will complete the full uh, image of what I want to take. So if I go here, and now if I click right click, and go to create a mask and then I click delete you must always click delete uh, for the time that you actually do because if you don't then the whole thing will get screwed so if you as you can see if we put him in front it goes like that if we put him like that it goes like that 
So either way, we need to have the MLG thing uh, at the back of him. So what we're actually going to do is we're just going to drag it along a bit. And as you can see, it's a bit too much uh, because we want the actual person's uh, like placement in there. So we're going to do it so that he is actually a little bit smaller because the more smaller he is, I don't know, the better better chances he has of a... Uh, of winning. Well, it's not really a class as a game, but if I shrink his head and then stretch him out a bit more, so now it's like that and it's like that. So then that means now that you've got the MLG thing on here, uh, yeah, you've got the MLG thing on here with everything else. You've got the guy laughing, which for some reason, don't ask why. Now what we're going to do is we're just going to color it. So we're just going to go Control M. And as you can see in a second, I'm trying to get this particular part behind his head a lot more darker so it stands out a lot more better. So what we're going to do is we're just going to drag the tool down. And as you can see, the more you drag it down, the more it darkens. So if I do it like that, it fully darkens, which is something that you don't really want. You just want it so it stands out a little bit. So there will probably do. Now you can change the colour if you want, you can just like mess it around and just go uh, overkill with it. As you can tell, uh, I like going o overkill with some of the colours like with the blue for example, just make it so it goes a little bit more over the top and as you can see here this old thing is nearly done. Now obviously that is not the final thing. What we're actually going to do now is we're going to add some text. It's pretty simple to do. But uh, even a schoolboy could probably figure this one out. But let's uh, let's go with it. So what we're actually going to do now is we're going to go to the text tool. Yes, this is a T. This is not. I don't know tits or anything else like that. We're going to drag the text tool over here. Now, as you can see, I have Queen of Clubs as a thing, which I don't mind. But I'm going to change it to Sample. And we're just going to put it as um, a 60 and just put uh, click bait. <coughs> I don't understand why I'm doing that, but either way, it doesn't really work. Now what we're going to do, as you can see, it's turned it all black. So what we're actually going to do is we're going to move that down. And we are going to take the text one again. This time we're going to highlight over and we're going to choose a colour. So with the matching blue here, we want something that's more of a cyan. Technically that's a bit too much. A red could do it because it could work with the other technique that we're going to do. But we're just going to choose it as green at the moment in time. And we're also probably going to shrink it because we want to put something else in there. So what we're going to do is now we're going to click this, which means now that this is now implemented into the picture. So what we're actually going to do is we are going to put the clickbait thing there and we're going to go to the blending options and we're going to go to the thing called the stroke. Just kidding, I am not about to have a stroke. This is actually uh, when you see on certain things that certain things stand out, and out. So for example, with this stroke, I can make the this a lot more bigger. So it goes like that, which people don't really want to see. So they usually just go for something like that so make it like a size of four and your opacity uh, is on 100 because if you have it on anywhere lower you can't obviously see it unless it's like that but then that's too stupid now what we're going to do is we're going to go for the inner glow which basically means that on the inside here everything will be glowing so what we're going to do is we're going to choose a color for the glow technically we could do the green again which makes it stand out a lot more so that's what we're actually going to do now if we go to the noise you can't really tell much difference unless you've got like really good uh, eyes for it. So I mainly go with that. And now the outer glow. This is the thing I enjoy most about Photoshop. Because with the outer glow it gives your audience a lot more like inevitabil inevitability. Yeah I know the English is going way off my topic. But what we're going to do is we're going to match it so it's at the bottom here. Either that, or we could just do something a little bit different. How okay, KSI so won me £10,000, don't really care. Uh, should have turned notifications off before this, but never mind. We're going to pick the colour of red, just so then it stands out and it shows to your audience that it is a clickbait. 
So we're going to do it like that. And then we're going to do the drop shadow, which is basically like that. I always keep mine black because I like it to stand out more. So now what we're just going to do is we are going to put it there. That is our clickbait thing sorted. We're going to drag his head a little bit more to the side. Actually, no, you can leave it flush, but you can also, if you wanted to, go straight to the same options again, and you can do the stroke, but it's not really worth my time, so what I'm actually going to do is just, uh, actually, I'm going to take the black again, and just leave it like that, just so then it stands out. But, you can, but with me, sometimes I usually put them on normal things, but sometimes I just put them on other. Fucking hell, it looks like he's had a soot bath. Never mind. Uh, <laughs> so now we're on to the final sort of section which is more text and it's the main cause of problems well not really the main cause of problems but something worth noting about so now what we're gonna do is we're just gonna make it so that it is signed by me and what we're actually gonna do is we're just going to put this into context we're gonna change it to black go to the layer blending options again this time we're gonna go and put the stroke to white because if we put it as black it won't really stand out as you can see it doesn't really work like that so we're just gonna make our way put it as Jake Paul because obviously he is the memester right now not really he is an absolute fucking ridiculous idiot idiot I mean idiot so we're just gonna put clickbait Jake Paul suicide vid or something I don't know because that's the thing that's trending to Jake, uh, Paul, and then I just put, uh, God's sake. Now that's something you have to worry about, because when you're doing this thing, if you put your things too much, then the whole thing just screws up. So Jake, Paul, and then I'll change it from size to that, and then just put it as really small. But then I can also edit that out, so let's go to an, yeah, let's go to an arc and put it in black and we're gonna go to the blending options again most of the stuff that I usually do is blending options techniques because they stand out way way more than if you actually tried making some yourself they just turn out way way better so let's just bring that down suicide thing there and now what we're going to do is control T on that, so then we can bring it up, not really, we're just going to drag it, like that, and bingo. Uh, yeah, ladies and gentlemen, that is it for today's video, I hope you all have enjoyed, sorry if this one sounds as boring as all hell, this clearly shows I am running out of ideas. Um, for making videos and things. I don't want to stop, it's just I'm running out of ideas. But yeah, that is it for today's video. I hope you all have enjoyed. If you have, smash the like button, subscribe if you're new idea. Make sure to leave a comment down the section down below suggesting of any other ideas you want to see happen on this channel. And uh, yeah, thanks for watching. Thanks for all your support. If you think it's boring, let me know. And uh, yeah, I shall talk to you all when I actually do upload some good motherfucking content. Peace out everybody, I couldn't give a shit about YouTube's demonetization system. Fuck you!